Hi everybody, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to all my returning friends and welcome to all my new friends. Please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. Today I have a project share for you. This is the most recent altered book journal that I have done. You, There are all kinds of videos about this on YouTube. This is not something I came up with. It's just something that I saw and decided that I wanted to try. So I'm not going to show you the process of how I made it, just what I ended up with. Okay, I'm closing this. Instead of like with a, a clasp or anything or a tie, I'm just using a big fat hair tie that I got eight in a pack from the, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. That way, because the book, the more you put in it, the fatter it gets, so you need something that can expand. The book itself, I covered it with the paper I wanted to use and Mod Podged it, as you can see. And then for the spine of it, I used a coordinating duct tape to give it strength. And everything has been Mod Podged on and over. Now, when you take these books, just and this is just a regular book from the Dollar Tree, you simply cut out like six or eight pages at a time and then glue pages together to make pockets and then decorate it. I always start by leaving the very first two blank, okay? Then they can write anything they want to in here. This is for my sister. I know she likes hummingbirds and things, so I just put her a few little stickers on there. Okay, and there's another page she can write on. Here is the first pocket. In every pocket, I have a tag. Let me see if I can get it out. There's a tag. See, the pocket here is at the top. And it's made with coordinating paper. You can write on the back, put a picture on the front, whatever you would like to do. Okay, I'm just going to set that there for the time being as we go through the book. Okay, this one is different. It has a pocket here and a pocket here. This one has a pocket here. And see all these blank pages? You can put stickers, you can write, here's a side pocket. You can put photos. These are simply, you personalize it the way you want to do it. And I used all a coordinating paper pack, it was called marble, to kind of keep the papers, uh, to keep it cohesive. I used washi all the way around the edge of every page to give it a more finished look. And I'm just showing you the pages. And then there's the last page and I leave the back completely blank. That way, if they want to, whoever I make these books for, they can write something on it if they would like to. On the front of this, I put, I don't know if you can see that, make Memories in the Making. And then I also include some word and sentiment stickers so that they can kind of customize it to themselves. And again, this one is for my sister. Okay, just a, what I wanted to show you, the latest altered book journal that I had done. I'd like to remind everybody that when the world's going to hell in the handbasket and you can't control it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing, what's going on in the drama community, who said what to who or about who. Just take care of you, your own little circle of friends, your family, everybody that's important to you. Because when it's all said and done, it's not my circus and they're not my monkeys. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.